What's up? Stephanie here from Fit and Geeky. If you grew up loving geek culture as much as I do, I'm convinced that you're already prepared to be awesome at fitness. Let me break it down. Mm. How the game over screen teaches us about persistence. If you play video games, you should be very, very familiar with this screen. It's the game's way of saying, you failed this time. And for most of us, we'll shrug it off, insert a coin, or press start to try again. And again. And again. And again. I have no doubt that it's frustrating as hell to keep seeing that game over screen, and the urge to smash that game controller and rage quit grows stronger every time. But here's the thing that as gamers, we understand that with every game over screen, every death, every mistake made, we learn to get better. Until eventually, we know the level by heart, we know the boss's attack pattern, and exactly what we must do to win. Fitness and health are no different. To get where we want to be with our body, whether the goal is to lose weight or to gain weight, you probably won't get it right the first time around. Maybe the scale isn't moving in a direction you want. That's an obstacle. Or you find something like dieting really difficult, like hard mode. Cause it is. You might feel like giving up because it's freaking frustrating. It's like seeing the game over screen constantly. Life isn't exactly a game, but gamers have already developed the skills to be persistent and to learn from mistakes and failures and to always get better. We already know that game over is simply code for press start and try again. And of course the reward for persistence is that you beat the level, you beat the game, you unlock the secret to something, to New Game Plus, and you just generally bask in the glory that is sweet, sweet victory. And in real life, it's the reward of feeling great about yourself and feeling confident. This is why I'm convinced that geeks have it in them to prepare for the difficulties of fitness. Let me know of other fitness lessons you learn from video games or other aspects of geek culture, and I may feature and talk about your topic in a future episode. Hey Bobby, first I want to mention that supplements only help if you're nailing your diet and training consistently and getting enough rest. That being said, choosing the right supplements should be based within your life's context like what you're trying to achieve, what's convenient for you, and what your budget looks like, because supplements can be expensive. For example, protein powder is really helpful if you have trouble getting enough protein, plus it's really convenient if you're always on the go. And there's lots of evidence to suggest that anyone who strength trains can benefit from taking creatine. Personally, I'm taking multivitamins, creatine, and I mix protein powder into my oatmeal. Just don't fall into the mindset that any one supplement will be your saving grace if your nutrition, training, and recovery are all crappy. And Jamie, I'm not really against gluten-free per se. I'm against the idea that gluten-free is the answer to preventing people from being sick and overweight. But there is a small percentage of people who have celiac disease and can't handle any gluten. But if you're wondering if you have celiac disease, then you probably don't, because you'd know by now. But hey, some people really do feel better or have lost weight by avoiding gluten. But that's because eliminating gluten also eliminates a lot of food choices. Stay fit and geeky, friends. This is the perfect time to be wearing a white hoodie in the kitchen because I'm about to make some breakfast burgers and handle some raw beef. Oh shit, it is bleeding everywhere. I might actually just take it off.